Lennon, who's my son, who is wonderful um, and a very strong spirited, um, happy little boy. He's got an amazing <laughs> smile, happy, yeah. hasn't he? Amazing smile, and he definitely he definitely knows what he wants as well. He's very determined, and he knows exactly what he wants, and he will tell you if he doesn't want something very clearly. Lennon's airway is completely floppy, and without his machine blowing it open, it um, closes within 10 seconds. It can tolerate no pressure or strain. Lennon um, has to have somebody around him 24 hours a day, taking care of his medical needs, his care needs, as well as his education, or most importantly, having fun. Um, he has mobility issues, communication issues, um, and it's very hard for him to be independent um, because he always has to have somebody that can keep him safe. When you've got a child like Lennon and you've had to sit in intensive care, watching him in a coma, not being able to move or do anything for a long time, and then you come somewhere that's bright and airy and everything Lennon wants to do is here. If he wants to go you know, on the electric chair and do driving, you can't give him any of that when he's in hospital. You can't give him any of that at home. They will tailor everything to his need. He doesn't have to miss out on anything. All of Lennon's targets that he works on in class are all completely personalised to him and what he needs. In the first you know, beginning years, Lennon was obviously too busy trying to breathe and um, didn't really want to respond or take part in anything. But as he's becoming more and more to school and seeing friends and realising that he's not just going to be in hospital with people doing things to him, that he's going to come and have fun, he's really opened up and started liking to join in with the others and um, he loves his art class and getting all messy and painting with his feet and his hands and his face. So just as a mum, they're what you, you need. I think the foundation has made lots of improvements to young people's lives over the years um, and continues to do so. You know, the children here are just grateful for um, having independence, for being cared for and safe. I spent years trying to convince people that, I, that he would do it at some point. We just have to wait for him and he's proving that day in, day out. He's getting stronger, he's getting tougher, he's getting more resilient, and we will win. Lennon is just one of the many wonderful children that our foundation has helped. We believe that all young people deserve the chance to fulfill their potential. We transform the lives of young people. Children and young people who are sick, disabled, or disadvantaged are often the most vulnerable in our society. They deserve a helping hand, and we can be that helping hand. For us to continue supporting young people like Lennon, we need you. As a charity, we rely on generous individuals to support our work. Thank you. Together, we are making a huge difference to thousands of children and young people. If Lennon was going to say thank you to everybody, it would be thank you for being included and being able to enjoy and have fun. I would like to say thank you to the Foundation on behalf of me and Lennon everything that you've done to help give Lennon a much better life and to help him unleash all of his potential. Children like Lennon rely on the DM Thomas Foundation for Young People to help them lead fulfilling lives and we would like to say thank you for your support. We all need a helping hand from time to time and through the Foundation and its multitude of volunteers we can be that helping hand and transform young lives.